see next one. Now this question is saying that if n is a power of 2, n is a some number which is a power of 2, like 2 to the power k, okay. n is a power of 2, then minimum number of multiplication needed to compute a to the power n. If n is a power of 2, okay. n is a power of 2, then minimum number of comparison required to do a to the power n. n is some number which is in power of 2. Now, what is going to be the minimum number of minimum number of multiplication needed to compute a to the power n? Here I am asking you to minimize the multiplication means if you, if you are having like n is a some power of 2 like a to the power 2 is there. Okay. So means you are going to do a into a. So you are doing one multiplication. Similarly if you are having a to the power 4 a into a into a into a four multiplication now they are asking to minimize it and the minimum number of multiplication needed to compute a to the power n here a to the power 4 then how many minimum number of multiplication you get? this is the question anyone got any algorithm how you can do like like take if you are having a to the power 16 a to the power 16 is there because n should be in power of 2 a to the power 16 then you are doing a into a into a into 3, 4, then 5, then 6, then 7, then 8, then 9, then 10, okay, then 11, then 12, then 13, then 14, then 15, then 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Like this is the Yes, so here if you will say you have to do 16 multiplication, but now they are asking. So if this is the case, if you will do directly, then you have to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 multiplication you have to do. See what I will do. I will assume some b equal to let b equal to a into a, a into a. So here you require how many multiplication? One multiplication. I will not do all the multiplication. Okay. I will assume b equal to a into a. So now a to the power 16 is going to your this is your b, then multiply, then this is your b, then multiply, then this is your b. A into a is your b. You know that. Okay, I am assuming. Then into b. Then into b. These questions are very important both in terms of gate and in your placement okay and these questions they will ask in your product based company 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 now what i will do i will assume let c equal to i will not do the multiplication here i will now assume c equal to b into b now you got one more multiplication one one multiplication one multiplication now a to the power 16 is going to your in place of b into b i will substitute c c into c this is c then this is c then this is c then this is c now i will take d equal to c into c so this way i am reducing the number of multiples why to do always a into b why to do i am assuming b equal to a into a i am going first a into a that is your b now wherever i will see a into a i am substituting substituting in the place of a into a b See? similarly i have assumed c equal to b into b now similarly i will assume d equal to c c into c so now a to the power 16 is going to your so again you require one multiplication here now a to the power 16 is going to your d into d so here you require one more multiplication now to compute a to the power 16 you require total how many multiplication one two three four multiplication so to compute a to the power 16 you require four multiplication four multiplication this way i am reducing the number of multiplication if you do like as a the way means by using every multiplication then you need to do 15 multiplication so i have reduced it and i got four multiplication okay now if i will give you like a to the power this is like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 Okay, like I can also assume this as a a to the power 8. So b to the power 8, I can say that b to the power 8 it is there. So for b to the power 8, I can reduce by using 3 multiplication. I will assume this. Are you getting it? 
I will assume B into B as C then like this so when if it is having 8 per 8 then I require 3 multiplication 3 multiplication then when I will use half 8 per 4 I will require 2 multiplication when I will have 8 per 2 I will require 1 multiplication please let me know whether it is clear or not so you have seen that when 8 per 16 then 4 multiplication then 8 over 8 then 3 multiplication then 8 over 4 then 2 multiplication 8 over 2 into 1 so if see no, you can eliminate the option by getting this or you can see whenever you are I have told you here you are reducing the problem in half in half see initially you are having here how many a 16 then you reduced into 8 then you reduced into 4 then you reduced into 2 then you reduced into 1 so here you are reducing the problem by half and I have told you whenever you reduce the problem by half or whenever you multiply the problem into 2 double when you divide any problem by 2 or when you multiply any problem by 2 then it is going to be go in a function of log n I have told you and we have seen many problem and even you can use this by this you can eliminate the options or directly you can say that because you are you are reducing the size of the problem by 2 initially it was having 16 then it reduced to 8 then it reduced to 4 then it reduced to 2 so by this we can reduce the number of multiplication and it is going to take log n base 2 understood so your option is going to your this a is going to be your correct answer a is going to your correct am i clear to all of you anyone is still having any doubt so you can eliminate the options okay so if you'll see if you do root n then also it's going to be incorrect n minus 1 then also it's be incorrect because a 16 is required how many multiplication 4 so if we take log 2 a 16 is going to your 2 to the power 4 you are going to get 4 only root n is not going to your the answer root 16 is not going to it is going to be your 4 ok yeah this this is getting correct one this is getting you correct but uh, for some questions it will be incorrect ok but for some it will be incorrect 